Hey guys, it's your girl Everything TV. So we, me and hubby, doing another, another car mukbang. We just went to um, Arby's. Okay, and what did I get? I got the chicken ranch, the chicken ranch wrap mm -hmm. with no bacon. And hubby got the um the new you know the new sandwich that um, Arby's came out with the potato um, chicken something the chicken pecan yeah it's a pecan sandwich and it's pretty good surprisingly for Arby's mm -hmm. that's what I would do if you come to Arby's stick with the sandwiches. If you like like beef, get one of the um, cheddar sand um, cheddar sandwiches that they have, the roast beef cheddar. But other than that, just get a wrap or a sandwich. You're good. Mm -hmm. Arby's is packed. The line is getting long. And you got cookout over here. Cookout's a lot ain't long um, tonight. But that's why I want to get on here and talk to you parents about you better really look into homeschooling your kids. Because they just had another shooting where the kid killed 14 kids and one teacher. When you safe anymore for your um kids to even go to school anymore. If I had a kid homeschool. never know he might have been bullied some of them kids be bullied for years and they just get tired of it and shoot up the whole school that's a majority of the, the things are I mean look at that kindergarten teacher, that kindergarten kid that came with the gun in his backpack a kindergarten a five year old kid you know four or five maybe six came to school in his backpack with a gun. I mean, that's ridiculous. You got a young kid. How in the heck did he get this, the gun anyways? Did he get it from his parents? Of course he did. He ain't gonna be able to get it from the street. He's only five years old. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just, it's crazy. They be getting guns like easy. Mm-hmm. A lot of parents don't even lock the gun up. They just got the gun just laying around. That's how that little boy shot his mom in the seat and killed his mom. See, when I was growing up, I was taught by my stepdad about gun safety. You never point a gun at somebody. You never point the gun at yourself. You never... You never even put your finger in the trigger mm. until it's actually pointed away from you to a target. You know, a bullseye. Not not just a regular old person or something like that, but an actual target at a shooting range or something like that. But you just don't grab the gun and, and decide to shoot somebody. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of parents, out like my wife said, a lot of parents out there they don't care. They get the gun and just put it on top of, put it on top of the, the counter. The kid's seven years old. He can reach the counter, no problem. So I mean, 
put it away completely in a safe with a gun trigger with a with a gun trigger safety on it. They actually have them. Mm-hmm. You know, you put the tr- you put the safety inside there. It don't matter what the kid does, he cannot pull the trigger at all. Period. You have to actually take a key and I actually unlock it to actually get it out undone. That's what I was taught. They didn't even serve this up, did it? They still ain't got the one that I wanted to bury. They never do because it always sells out. She must be lost. He killed 14 kids. 14. He killed more than the Columbine um, kids killed. You gotta think though, 14 kids and one adult. So he had 15 plus rounds. That means he had a long... Show your food. My food's gone. Show it. Show the little piece. Here's some of the bread. He tore it up. Yeah, I tore it up. Chicken had grapes in it. Had um, <clears throat> it was kind of a, a sweet sandwich with um, if you like coleslaw, it was kind of somewhat like a, a sweet coleslaw mix. But it was good. Bread was fresh, actually. It was good. Mm-hmm. Um, yum, yum. No bacon. I mean, if you like bacon, you can put it in there, but. I had the cops um, shot the shooter and killed him, which most of them want that anyway. What, cop shot the little kid? Hmm. I want to say if this was a hate crime. So they haven't showed the kid. They're not going to show them because they're under 18. And they're not going to show them. I mean, they haven't showed the victim. We need to know stuff like that. They ain't going to show the victim because they're under, eight, under, under age 18. I mean, show the, they can show the teacher. If it's something like that, they're going to show it. If I were you parent, I would do homeschooling. Time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I got a friend of mine. She talked about homeschooling, right? I got a friend of mine that he actually goes to a Catholic school. His he sends his son to a Catholic school. And you know what they did? They jacked the price up almost fifty percent a year. Because they get you know, for the buses and stuff like that. And I can see in the public schools too, soon. You gotta pay for gas. For all these buses. Or they might cut buses out completely. Which I don't think, I don't see that happening, but. Mm. But you never know. And a lot of them schools, they need to have more access. There's a, there should be multiple exits in those high schools. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's multiple exits, but if... A there lot ain't of, enough. Yeah, there ain't, there ain't enough. even enough in the... Um, remember when the guy went in the movie theater and started shooting it up? Mm-hmm. That's why it's good to sit down in the front. Because if you sitting all the way up in the back and somebody coming and shooting, where are you going to run to? Right into the shooter. That was good. Very good. And we keep the pack. I don't even know why we got these, but usually I get these for the house. RB sauce, yes. I keep these at the house home. Leave some in here for um. My baby. But yeah, that's all we wanted to come on here. Spicy buffalo. Why don't you put spicy buffalo in there? Did she put two? Mm, excuse me. She put two spicy buffalo. I don't know why. But that can go home. But yeah, the dog parents out there think about you know, doing some home schooling because now it's getting bad. Like, and now you got thugs coming to school, shooting up the school. And sometimes you have people that are, uh, they're copycats. Y'all ever, we all watch that movie, Copycat. Dad see something on the news. You never know. Maybe he seen, um, something on the news. Maybe he seen that dude that just shot, shot up the, um, the supermarket and then he thought it would be cool for him to go he probably was like oh let me go shoot up the school that was cool what people think like that it's sick but people think like that that's why when we do some of our videos on youtube and we know it could be like a that's what it means when people put trigger warning because you have people out there that watch something and that they, they get so triggered by it they go try to kill people you know what I'm saying? They try to do stuff. So that's why I always put trigger warning on there. And sometimes we put age restrictions on it. Because a lot of young kids, they don't need to be looking at some of that stuff on YouTube. I know they be sneaking. Of course, all it is, yes, I'm over 18. Boop, done. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is a button. But I'm telling you, you better monitor your kids really close. I mean, it's not no game no more. Plus, they have cell phones out there where you can actually put parental control on your phones. And they have an app that you can put on your phone to actually to actually monitor what your kid's actually watching. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of like your smart TVs and your TVs now that you put, you know, parental control. You can do it the same thing with your phone now. Yeah, sometimes you can put a code in there. Mm-hmm. 
just so they can't push it and undo it. You put a code up in there and they can't get into it without the code. And some of them will lock them out so that you know they've been in there trying to get in there. But yeah, guys, so whoo, my belly's full. That was good. Hubby's butt, belly is full. Mm -hmm. You know, we about to get on up out of here. So, guys, I will see you guys later. It's your girl, Everything's TV. You want to say my slogan? Go for it. Come on, say it with me. I love you guys. Always, Always thinking, thinking about, about you. you. Until, Until next, next time. time. It is your couple, the Amasis. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you guys later. Be safe out there and stay fresh under your own. Bye.